Hello friends. I just got back in the car from my meeting. I do not have the cere ceremonial ripping of the name tag, unfortunately, <laughs> today. Uh, I forgot to get one. So sorry about that. I spaced out. Actually what happened was I got here and I started talking to the leader and his wife and they are so, they're just awesome. Really super duper awesome people. And I don't know. I just feel completely invigorated talking to them. So I lost. Okay. So I started on the 14th of September. That's when I rejoined. And I was right at 264.0. That's what I weighed myself at. Today I was 262. And remember, I'm transitioning off of a very low carb. Um, you know, I'm doing Weight Watchers now. So we have lower carb days and then we do have some carbs. And I, I actually was expecting to gain doing that, but I had already had a gain when my husband got COVID. I talked about this in my last video. So anyway, I am down um, one. So it was kind of weird the way I started and then I went to a meeting last Wednesday and then this week. So I lost 1.2, but since the 14th, I'm down two pounds. So if that makes any sense. And I'm really, really happy about that. Of course, I would love to have like a big, you know, chunk come off, but I realized that from doing low carb, once you start eating carbs again, things happen in your liver and you start to hold on to water weight. So this week I didn't have like a lot of, you know, water weight coming off of me. Plus I have a UTI. So I am on antibiotics, which I try to do all my holistic stuff. It's all stress induced, you know. Um, I tried to do all my things and I was like, nope, I'm going to have to go on antibiotics. And that always kind of messes with me too. But <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about how the week went. We had a really stressful week. I ate all of my weeklies and I still lost, you guys. I, wait, I ate all my weeklies. I went off of low carb lifestyle and I still lost. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I, I'm not so happy about eating all the weeklies and I'll tell you that I, I had a nice little chunk left before last night. Um, but we had someone passed away at church. That was stressful. I had a bunch of stressful stuff happen at work and okay, this is going to sound, please forgive me if I sound completely stupid, but I'm pretty resilient. I have a very, I've always had a very stressful job as a nurse. My husband has a stressful job as a priest. Okay. So I tend to handle things really well and cope and, you know, use coping mechanisms and and all these things. And then something will just put me over the edge. <laughs> okay. So I hope I don't get emotional here because this, this is going to sound dumb, but let me explain yesterday after work, I went to get my nails done because we have some stuff going on this weekend. And plus I chipped one and I wanted my nails done and I went to see my Alex. So Alex, since I moved to this area, she has been doing my nails so for almost three years, and she's a friend. She's I don't have a lot of friends outside of work and church, and you know, especially with everything that's been going on. And I like to have friends. And she's just somebody you know. Every month I would see Alex, and she's Vietnamese, and she would tell stories that you know about eating durian and you know, her family and I don't know, always told me that my eyebrows needed, I needed to tattoo eyebrows on. And I don't know. She just made me laugh. Like a couple months ago, she had me answering the phone at the nail salon <laughs> as a joke. She's like, I'm too busy. Answer that for me. And I would say the nail salon's called QT nail. So I'd be like, QT nails, how can I help you? <laughs> so that was like my fun 
that was like one of the fun things that I do. Well, she's moving. And so I went to get my nails done yesterday and towards the end of the appointment, she got real quiet and you know, I was, I was like, what's going on? She got really quiet and she's like, I have to tell you something, Miss Amy. And I have been waiting to tell you. And I was like, what's wrong? And of course, you know, this week I've had all this bad news and I thought, because I'm a nurse, I'm like, oh no, she's terminal or she's been abused or I'm going to, you know, go into nurse mode. But no, it was, I'm moving. She's moving to Mississippi and she got a good opportunity there. You guys, it, it, I don't even know why I started to tear up. And, you know, had to kind of keep it together. I gave her a huge, ginormous tip on my way out. I told her good luck and gave her my card. I said, if you ever come back, let me know. And I went home and I cried and cried and cried like a big baby. You know, I just lost it. And I think it was just a culmination of everything. And I have some stressful stuff happening tomorrow and the next day that I'll tell you guys about um, this weekend. That You know, it's going to be challenging. It's, it's good, but it's stressful. That was coming up, trying to get all my work done before this weekend. And then next week I have to go to conference again. Go to conference, which is a Zoom thing all week. I just cried and cried and cried. Then I couldn't sleep last night. I ended up using all the rest of my weeklies and making a decision to eat them. Uh, I was feeling snacky, and so I had these little rice cake, a bag of these little rice cake things, and I couldn't sleep, and I just sat on the couch, and I ate them, and I had like a full-on pity party. <laughs> I had a 12-year-old moment. I had a 12-year-old redheaded pity party. Okay? That's what happened. But, and the whole time I'm thinking, oh, you're weighing tomorrow, and this has so much sodium, and I was like, well, I don't care, I'm eating them, I have the points, I'm eating them. So, probably not the best way to do things, and retrospectively, um, I need to, uh, you know, I need to change, and I know that, and that's what I'm working on. Okay, so, the thing is, you learn from that, and you move on right? Because just sitting and feeling bad about it, it's that, that has passed, but the lesson remains, you know, I'm not going to feel guilty, but I am going to hang on to the lesson, which is I need to have some better coping, 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 <laughs> coping mechanisms. Um, because it's this habit. And that's what we talked about in our meeting tonight was the habit these habits are not serving me and you know I need to just change for the long term you know that's what I'm doing is making a, a lifestyle change and I've really got to work on some of this stuff I feel like I can kind of get away with stuff and that has not benefited me I don't know if you guys are like this but I can kind of you know get away with doing stuff like that and still lose, but long term it doesn't benefit me because eventually my points are going to drop and I won't have all those extra points. Um, so, that being said, the meeting today was all about habits and if-then scenarios. So, when something comes up, you know, like you want to have a snack or you want to go over your points or you, you know, you have the points and you, but you're not really hungry, but you want dessert using an if then the sun is literally blinding me using an if then scenario where you say to yourself, well, if, if I go take a 20 minute walk, I'll have half of a piece of cake, you know, those types of scenarios on top of the pause, you know, taking a pause, um, so that was a really good discussion, I thought, and my leader, Tony, talked a lot, again, about his own journey, and he showed me his pictures again 
of um, he's an he was an ICU nurse and now he works in um, like infection control or infectious disease or something like that. He works in the whole, in the same system that I work in hospital system. But he was showing me pictures and he was talking about what has really worked for him is completely changing his habits. And one of the things that he changed was he made sure, he made sure that he didn't get hungry during the day because when he gets hungry, it triggers him. So he eats every two hours and it's not a big meal every two hours. He just spaces his points out throughout the day every two hours. So, you know, he was giving an example of today, like he had a couple of eggs and toast for breakfast. Um, then he had some fruit. Then he had some soup that his wife had meal prepped for them for lunch. And then he had something, I can't remember, some, some other little snack in the afternoon. And then now it was dinner time and then he has a snack prepared for later on because he's an evening snacker. And he said if he doesn't have his evening snack, then he just lays there and thinks about it. And then he goes rummaging and overboard. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, rummaging? Where it's like anything in the pantry will do. We talked about that. So I thought that was helpful that he shared um, some of his journey again and talked about how being hungry was a was a real trigger for him and what he worked on um my i think my trigger is like stress and emotions obviously you know he said some people are triggered by boredom you know and they get bored in the evenings and then you know, especially right now there's not a lot to do and they're winding down and oh it's fun to eat you know um some people get you know, triggered by like commercials and, you know, if they see other people eating food. So we talked a lot about that as well. So the meeting was really good. Um, he did talk about this recipe that they handed out, which was plantains. And he said, plantains are not zero points. Now they are on purple, I believe. Yes, they are on purple, but on the other plans, they are not zero points. They are very high sugar and high calorie. So he said, if you're going to eat them, you need to treat them like a dessert. Um, but I brought up the banana in the air fryer and I can't remember where I saw this, but I think it was on TikTok. There was a girl on there, I believe, that takes a banana and she sprinkles it with cinnamon and she puts it in the air fryer at 360 for 10 minutes. I think it's 10 minutes. I would probably start with like seven minutes and just check it. And she said it is a delicious dessert. It gets kind of crispy and creamy and she puts some Cool Whip with it because regular Cool Whip and fat-free Cool Whip, sugar-free Cool Whip, they all have the same points. So she just uses the regular. Um, so I brought that up. So we were all talking about how that's kind of like a better, maybe a better option. <laughs> we were talking before the meeting about that. And then he was talking about plantains not being zero. Which, I don't ever buy plantains, but then Weight Watchers gives you a recipe. And the minute he started talking about plantains, I was like, oh, maybe those are zero points, you know. And then I was like, oh, they're not. <laughs> so, it's like one half of a plantain is like five smart points or something. Anyway, it was so great to go to the meeting I have a very busy evening ahead of me for several reasons, and I thought about just going and weighing in and not staying for the meeting, but there was a lady there that came back, and she's not been to meetings, and she said, I, she's like, I keep cycling, and I have to be at the meeting. She's like, I don't know what it is, and you guys have said it best out there, meetings are the secret sauce to, for many of us. You know, it's the secret sauce. I know there's lots of people that can do it without meetings. I totally know that. Um, but for myself, it's the secret sauce and I need it. I need the accountability. I need to be able to step on the scale. Oh, and by the way, he did say, if you do an evening meeting and you want to weigh in the morning at our Weight Watchers and you can ask at yours if you're doing meetings, you can weigh in the morning and just bring them that weight 
and they will use that weight from your home scale. He said the only time they ever question is if you have someone that's like, every week, I lost five pounds, I lost five pounds, I lost five pounds, and you're kind of looking at them like, so the only time we question is like, when people are having these big like five pound losses every week, because he said, that's not really our program. And so that's when we would say, well, let's maybe just double check that our scales are matching up. <laughs> so I like the way he said that. But um, anyway, I am at Panda Express. I'm going to go order dinner because I have 29 points left for today because of my, I've had a crazy day. I had a protein um, waffle for breakfast and I had a, what did I have for lunch? Uh, I had a Quest bar from, at lunchtime and I've not eaten since then and I'm starving. So 29 points. I'm going to go through Panda. I'm going to get teriyaki chicken, broccoli beef, half rice, half steamed rice, half vegetables. Um, I think the teriyaki chicken's eight. The broccoli beef is five. The rice is five, half rice is five. The veggies are gonna be either one or zero. I can't remember which. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I've gotta go home and do a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed right now, you guys. I will tell you, the meeting really lifted my spirits and I'm very, very thankful. Um, I got a box in the mail while we're sitting here waiting in line of a whole bunch of goodies as I was leaving the house. So when I rejoined, I guess I didn't realize I was going to get this. This is a starter kit that they sent you. So it has like a starter guide um, that I showed you guys last week in the meeting. So go back to the meeting last week and I showed you what this is. Oh, it's a starter guide. It's like a little measuring cup. This is cute. It has all the little different measurements on the side. If you're doing like tablespoons of dressing or oils or things. Um, they sent me like a three utensil set of a slotted spoon, a regular serving spoon, and a spatula that have like nice wooden handles, you guys. Um, some tongs. I think all of these things might go up to the church because we need nice nice things for the church. And then this was cool. This is a semi-automatic whisk. So I don't have one of these. So we will be keeping this. Um, semi-automatic whisk. I wonder if you could fraud things with this. Do, do I have to have batteries? Like what's the deal? So that's cool. And then a couple of dish towels. One that says, don't worry, cook happy. And one that says, life is delicious. <laughs> and a cookbook, which you know I love. And I haven't been able to flip through this one yet. But this is called Flavor Pop. Meet the not-so-secret ingredients that add serious flavor to your meals, even in small amounts, without adding a lot of calories or fat. And I need some ideas. So, you know, this is the typical um, new style Weight Watcher cookbook that has all three plans points in it. Um, these look really, really good. So I, I'll do a review later of this. And then a set of cutting boards, three of the real thin cutting boards. So um, some things I don't really need. I didn't realize they were sending me that. And that when I got home today from my last visit, it was sitting on the porch and I threw it in the car to open while I was waiting for the meeting stuff. But yeah, that's it. So I'm very happy. Two pounds. Um, we're headed into the last week of September and wouldn't it be cool if I could get off maybe another one or two pounds, um, and move into my birthday month. So I'm excited about that. I'm at two, six, two, two sixty two. So if you guys are keeping score out there, <laughs> some of you are, or if you're tracking along with me and you're at the same weight or you're like, oh, I never want to weigh that. Well, hey, here's your inspiration. So 262, um, I bought a pair of size 16 jeans at Target. I'm 5'9", so I'm tall. Um, I wear like a 14W, 16 stretchy 
um, extra large, I'm in between an extra large and a 1X. So if that gives you sort of measurements and proportions and stuff, um, now you guys know. I, th I think my bones are heavy. <laughs> I'm heavy. It's, it's all right. Don't make jokes like that, Amy. Okay. So I will see you guys later. Stay in orbit. I'm going to go order my food and I will see you guys probably this weekend. Um, I have not had a chance to edit anything because of all the funeral stuff and the, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. It, it has been nonstop. Like right now it's seven o'clock and I am going to go home and I probably have at least three to four more hours of work and things that I need to do and get accomplished. So it's okay. <laughs> Um, I will see you guys later. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know how your weigh-in went. If you're doing weigh-in Wednesday with me, let me know how your weigh-in went and what your goals are for this next week. And on Saturday, I will try to pop on here and talk about goals um, and stuff like that. Bye!